Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's May Larson and I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and um, also take a few minutes to remind you if you click on the little bell on the right hand side below this video, you will get updates whenever I go on live or whenever I upload a new video. So if you click on that little bell and you, you haven't done so already, please click on the subscribe button. Now, I know I've been MIA for quite some time, it'll be a year in August, but I wanted to share with you guys something that is exciting. Um, I don't know if you guys know, and I'm sure you do, because a lot of you guys are paper crafters. Sherry Baldy is a talented, amazing artist, and she has her own product line called My Besties. She also has some digital graphics um, in her store. I will put the link below for you to go check out her store. She sells fabric, she sells stamps, she sells digital files, she sells glitter, she sells inks, she sells flowers, I mean you name it. The sky is the limit. She is amazingly talented, right? So I want you guys to click on the link below, check out her store, and in a few minutes, I'm going to share with you guys something that she has asked me to share with you guys. So, but before I do that, um, I want to talk to you guys about junk journals and some supplies that you may need to create an amazing junk journals. Now, most of you guys already have a lot of these uh, supplies in your home. But what I want you guys to do is, if you haven't done so already, is to brew some coffee, get a nice little spray bottle, put a little few drops of alcohol, because you're going to be able to distress some of your um, papers with this. Um, you're also going to need a good paper trimmer. Now, if you haven't stopped by your local Joann's, and I mean the local, I don't mean online, because the sale that I'm about to show you guys, it is not in your online store. Now, the other day, um, I had to buy a paper cutter because I, I didn't have any more uh, craft supplies, and I was on a prowl, was looking for a paper cutter that would work, and I needed something that was affordable because I am in a super tight budget. But I went to Joann's, I went to see if they had any paper trimmers, and I couldn't find any. And I'm like, what the heck? And so I walked around the corner and then there it was. The paper cutter that all paper crafters absolutely love. It is the Fiskars Prozition Trimmer. Now this trimmer, it is for those of you guys like myself that loves to cut chipboard. And this one normally typically runs about 130 to 169, depending on what store you go to. They don't put it on sale too often. You have to normally use your coupons to be able to make a purchase like this. Well, ha, um, they happen to have it for $49 and I had an extra 20% coupon. That was marked down from $169, guys. So I was super excited because being that I'm on a budget and I had to try to get some craft supplies because I didn't have any more, this was heavenly scent. So I was super excited about this purchase. The other thing that you will need, and as you can see, it's all leading to what I have here. So pay attention because everything that I'm going to be showing with you guys is going to be leading to what I have here. You guys know I tend to get off subject, but I'm not this time. All right, so you're going to need a scoreboard. Now, there are several out there in the industry that you guys can go out there. My suggestion to you guys is to buy one that has your 1 8 inch mark. If it doesn't have a 1 8 inch mark, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. Um, you also want to make sure that, um, that when you're making these purchases that you have a bone folder most of them do, but you don't want one that's really, like there's some that comes in and the bone folder, it's almost like when you go in to score, it tears up your paper. I mean, you can always switch that out, but you also don't want to spend a lot of money on it as well, but 
You also don't want one that's going to cost you an arm and leg. I paid $12.99 for this one um, the other day at Tuesday morning. So I strongly suggest if you have a Tuesday morning, check it out because I know that they had the We Are Memory Keeper brand there. And I was able to score on this one and I only paid $12.99. And it does happen to have the 1 8th inch mark. And that's very important when you're a paper crafter, that you have a scoreboard that can give you the 1 8th, the quarter inch, the half inch, the 3 8th. You know, it has all that stuff. And it's written on the top and it's written on the side for your um, safety as well. That's that. You're also going to need some type of stamp block. I was fortunate enough that my friend Young Sue sent me some. So if you didn't see that video below, there was a video that I um, did yesterday. And you're also going to need some embellishments, whether they're metal embellishments. And Sherry Baldy has her own line of embellishments. So you want to check the link below and check out her um, entire store because she has metal embellishments. She has laces. She has paper flowers. She has everything that you need to make what we have here look awesome. So enough about that. Now you also need some type of a twine, um, a wax thread, a nylon thread that is very thick and sturdy, needles, a ruler, some piercing tool, scissors, everyone needs scissors, glue. I strongly suggest that you use like a PVA glue or um, a score tape. Um, fabric tack is good. It's just a little bit on the pricey side of life and I, I can't afford that right now, but if you can get a really good glue, that's awesome. Um, I'm a fan of the hot glue gun for this project. Don't recommend it unless you're doing embellishments. That's the only time that I'm gonna suggest that. Otherwise, you can use a PVA glue, um, craft tacky glue, which I love. I don't have any right now, but I love it. Um, Eileen's tacky glue, and what's the other one? Scotch quick dry glue. Those are really good glues, and um, I highly recommend if you have your hands on those, use those. So you need distress inks. And this is one of my favorite ones from Tim Holtz. As you can see, it's me. I just got it in. Um, it's Tim Holtz Vintage Photos. You need some eyelets. And you want to go around checking the sales. I got this one at Tuesday morning for $1.49. And it has 30 nickel eyelets. So you can use that. Brad's. Paper clips. Um, beads. Anything that you can use to embellish what I'm about to show you guys. So those are some of the things that you're going to need. You're also going to need a good printer. See where I'm going? You're also going to need cardstock or printer paper. So with that being said, I normally go to Hobby Lobby and I buy my cardstock. And I always do it whenever they have their cardstock stock. Oh, cardstock see a blooper card stock at 50% off now their paper brand the paper studio every now and then they'll put it at 50% so that's when you want to take advantage of that for this particular project I use the heavy weight and I paid 450 for a pack of 50 and it printed really smoothly on my printer so you want to make sure you get really good card stock or you can use printer paper there you go printer paper and you can print on that and that saves you a ton of money now you ready for this guys you're gonna love this all right so sherry body um, she has her own line of junk journal digital files she's had this for a couple years she has a group on Facebook so if you're wanting to join her Facebook junk journal group let me know I'll put the link below and you're welcome to join but that is where you will see some of her beautiful junk journal files. She has, aside from this one that's up on her store, she has several others that she's going to be uploading. So as soon as you'll have to stock her page because I know she is constantly uploading new 
uh, new, new things to her store. So you might have to stock her page, but I know that she's working on having those uploaded. Well, with that being said, I'm going to share with you guys the digital file that she asked me to create a junk journal. Now, are you ready? All right. And this is why, I'm going to put this aside. This is why you're going to need a scoreboard. Now this here, as you can see, there's a little arrow. And I put it in the um, my printer, and every printer is different, guys. Every single printer, the alignments, the feed is entirely different. So you want to make sure your settings, you check your settings before you do that. So don't go by what I'm telling you. I know that I put a little mark on there. I print it, and then I know when I put so that I can print the back, and I'm taking advantage of my paper that way, that I'm, I have it all going in the right direction, right? So this is her junk journal collection. It's amazingly beautiful, guys. And the colors, the scripts, it is so shabby chic. It is so gorgeous. It is so Sherry Baldy. It doesn't surprise me. Look at that. Amazing. The scripts, the lace on there. It is so beautiful. And I have a lot of lighting. Surprisingly, guys, I have lighting here. But look at that. There's some lace around here. It's really, really gorgeous. Now, as you can see, it prints out, and you and you can size these up however you want. You can she's um, set these files for you to print as many times as you want, and to resize them however you want. But what you cannot do is not share the file. Now, once you have the file, you can print it as many times as you want, make as many junk journals as you want, as long as you're always giving her credit, you can do that as many times as you want. Now, the neat thing about this is that you don't have to go out and buy an expensive paper pad that you're only going to use once and not use again. You can print this at your printer however many times you want and you can make a hundred journals and you've only paid once. So that is the most important thing about these junk journals. That is the most amazing thing about creating junk journals. Not only can you use tags, um, envelopes, old gift, gift ties, anything that you have that's an ephemera, you can use for these junk journals. You can even use fabric to print this off, which is what's on my desk the next time. That is exactly, as soon as I get some printer fabric, I'm going to print this on, because I would I would suggest getting a thicker, there's one out there that's like a canvas, and I've used it before, don't have any, but there's one that's a little bit thicker, and you can print it and print, and you're going to really get a nice, it's almost as thick as this, it's really nice. So you can even print this on fabric. You can use muslin and iron on a freezer sheet and I've done that before there was a video that I had where I showed how to do that don't have the video now but you can also use muslin it's just it's just you know it's a little bit more flimsier so I suggest there's a printer fabric that's a little bit like a canvas and you can print on that and it'll give you a little bit more sturdiness on the pages all right so you'll get it like this. Now this one here, the way I'm going to be working on this, it's going to be eight and a half, or nine, sorry, nine, no, eight and a half, I was right, eight and a half, and when you fold it, it's going to be four and a half. So that's a pretty good size journal. And that is why I said you're going to need a scoreboard. See, there was a reasoning behind my madness. There's always something reasoning behind my madness. You're also going to need, I don't know if I told you guys, but you're going to need a Pearson tool, but I'm going to show you guys at the end of showing this little lovely kit, a kit that you can purchase at Amazon, and I'll make sure I put a link for that, that it has everything you need to do your book binding, your signatures when you're doing junk journals. Anyway, enough about that. So you're going to get these. You're going to take your paper trimmer, you're going to trim these little edges, you're going to score it down in the center, and you're going to fold, once you've printed both sides, which is what I've done, you're going to fold them like that. And you're going to get something that looks like this. Okay? Now, that's that page. That's that page. This collection is 
there is a coupon code like I said I put the coupon uh, I will put the coupon code below but just so you know it is a forever a forever code so whenever you go to buy any of her journals and you use just the journals not her digis not her stamps not her laces not her glitter not her flowers just for the junk journals if you use junk 10 you'll get 10 percent off forever forever and ever as long as she has those junk journals up on her website you can use junk j u n k all caps 10 j u n k 10 you'll get 10 percent off her junk journal kits this particular kit is 12.99 awesome deal you cannot get that anywhere else because you can print this as many time as you want size it up how you want it and you can create cards you can create your journals you can create scrapbook out you can create anything with this because it is such a beautiful well thought out kit well here's my other page isn't that gorgeous the colors I'm the lighting in here is not really making it justice. Believe it or not, I have my windows open. But look at that. That is amazing. And I printed on both sides. See that? Because I wanted that. And then I have this one in a pastel pink. And there's the other one, the same one as the first one. Some of these are repetitive because that's just how I put them in a printer. And then there's this one. Again, you can see the score line. I would also line it up. Once you cut it, I would line it up and put it on your scoreboard and score it at half. That way you're, you have accuracy. But the other suggestion to you, to, to you is that if you buy a ream of paper that you would normally use on your printer sheet or your printer, you can cut them up or print it, cut them, cut the edges, then you can ink them up and coffee dye them and bake them in the oven and you'll get a nice crisp vintage feel to it and your bream of paper is a lot cheaper than buying cardstock once you bake it you get really nice thickness to it i don't know what it does it bakes it it makes it crisp but it, it makes it really unique and you can do it that way if you want to save on money as far as paper but if you want to use it on car stock, I suggest the Hobby Lobby brand. That's just my personal preference. And you can use your 50% coupon or not your 50% coupon, but when they put it at 50% and you're going to save. So that's just my personal preference. So here's this one. And it has some candy stripes on that side. Then there's this one. Look at that. That one has faith and love. Pretty. And then there's this one. Nice pastel pink dots. And then there's some scripts. And then this one has a little old memo, a stamp, a little memo here. It has more scripts here. And pastel polka dots. And there's that one. Some of these are repetitive because that's just how I did it. And then this one's pretty. It's like an old ledger in the center of the paper. It is so pretty. Again, you've seen this one. And you've seen that one. You just saw that one. You saw that one. You've seen that one. Because some of these I'm making, I, I printed them out. There's that one. I don't know if you saw that one. And then there's the first one I showed you. Yep, we've seen that. We've seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it. All right. Here's some tags. Now you get several tags on this. So you get this eight and a half by eleven um, cardstock of tags, and you have various tags. You can print several of these and put them in your little um, junk journal. This one here is an old ephemera. She was telling me about it. She has in her possession the actual piece. Now you can size this up. I didn't size it on this particular because I just wanted to bring it up so you can see it. But I am going to go in and resize it and print out several on my cardstock. And it's an old, old, it says on there, 
1843, and she has the original. And it also has a little lace. So I, I thought that was really neat that she used one of her old antique ephemeras for this kit. Then you have these little tiny envelopes. And now if you have a scan and cut, a Cricut, a silhouette, you can cut these out, scan them, cut them out, and you don't have to fussy cut. We all know how I love uh, fussy cutting. Not. But anyway, you can fussy cut these if you have one of those machines. These are little coin envelopes or little memo envelopes. And you can print out as many as you want with these. Then you have these little round tabs. And you can probably um, tuck these on corners to make little pockets. And that's where a stapler would come in handy. A sewing machine would come in handy. So those are little additives, added little things that you can also use. I printed two of these because you can never go wrong with tags. But look at the colors. They're so pastel, so shabby, so pretty and gorgeous. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Then you have some tickets. Again, you can scan this up if you have a brother scan and cut, a cricket. And um, or a silhouette, and you can just cut them or fussy cut, you know. These are some cars, and there's three of these, three different styles, these three styles. And you can, again, score, I printed out two of each. You can cut it, um, score, and you have like a little flip card. If you make it bigger, here's another thing. If you enlarge this to fill up your sheet, you can make a... Um, a card card, you know, one of those um, birthday cards, any type of card, you can print it out and make a card, sc score it down that center and you can make a card as well. But I'm going to use it as little tab cards for inside my journal. And I printed on the side of one of these, see, this one's a little bit bigger, I print, see, you can size it up. So if you sized it up a little bit bigger, you can make a card to gift to somebody for their birthday or you know whatever reason you have to give out a card you can cut these out but look at that you can do that uh, this is one of the other patterns it's like 40 things that you get in this kit for $12.99 it's not a bad deal um, I printed out on one of these patterns that way when I open it up it has a pattern inside I did the same thing on this one I have a little pattern in the back I printed it so that when I cut this out it has a pattern so this is the other one Again, you can enlarge it and make a different card. Now, this one is another one of the uh, paper designs that come in this that comes in this kit. And again, I'm going to trim that off. These little edges that you're trimming off, don't throw them away. You can use them for belly bands or pull tabs or anything that you want um, for your your journal. So keep that in mind. Don't toss those little strips that you're cutting on the side. So. I think I've shown you all of the designs because these are all repetitive. I didn't see show you this one. This one's gorgeous. And then there's this one. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Now, see the difference? I printed this one because I ran out of my white cardstock. But I printed this one on the ivory cream color. And then this is... Um, on white so you see the difference on colors so that's that and then you're going to get some covers now the covers you will have to size up to your liking but they're beautiful um there's a couple covers i think i let's see isn't she beautiful so i can size this up see that i can size it up I can put this on a canvas and I can make a beautiful canvas with this or I can size it down and make it the cover for this junk journal or another junk journal if I wanted to um, or I can size it down even smaller and make a little tag out of it or an ATC card so the sky is the limit again this is an old book that she has scanned in and you can use this size it down a little bit to use it for the cover for this or you can leave it that size and make another um, another uh, junk journal with this one so you'll get that and this one's also gorgeous and look she's got a burdness on her head so that's really cute and so again size it down tags cover whatever you want um, canvas 
Um, these, I just went ahead to zoom it in for you guys. It has bliss at the bottom. But see? Yeah. There's that. So that is also coming in your kit. So for $12.99, you have an amazing kit. Plus, you get 10% off if you use the code JUNK, J-U-N-K, all caps, 10, and you get 10% discount on your junk journal kit from Sherry Baldi's My Besties Shop.com. So if you guys haven't already joined the group, what are you waiting for? Check out the junk journal group on Facebook. I will put the link below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Contact Sherry, let her know. I know that she is working on uploading some other designs up there, but just keep checking and check all the other amazing products in her store. Anyway, guys, till next time, bye.